Snapshooter is part of DigitalOcean's family of products, which allows you to back up your droplets, volumes, and databases. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to easily back up droplets and volumes. But first, we'll have to connect our DigitalOcean account to our Snapshooter account. And you can do this by going to your dashboard and selecting the DigitalOcean icon. Once there, confirm by clicking on connect with DigitalOcean. This will take you to an authorization page where you'll have to select the team you want to connect to and clicking authorize application. Once that is done, if you click on refresh, you'll see all the droplets in your account and you'll also see a DigitalOcean drop down menu to the left. This will show you droplets, volumes, database, and account settings. But first, I'll show you how to back up a droplet. We do this by clicking on the activate button in our droplet section, selecting how often we should back up our server. This will vary according to the account you have in Snapshooter, your time zone, and the time when the backup occurs. I'll set mine to three o'clock in the morning as I prefer to do this when I have less traffic. I'll click continue, set a retention policy for the amount of snapshots I would like to keep, for the number of days of daily snapshots, set that to five, weeks for weekly snapshots, I'll set that to four, and how many months of monthly snapshots should I keep, I'll set that to six. Obviously, you can set your own retention policy. I'll click continue, and this will show us the option to replicate our backups into a different data center, giving us even further peace of mind. I'll choose Frankfurt as I'm currently in Amsterdam. And finally, I'll click the start backups button. This will show us an overview of our snapshots. We can also select to do a snapshot now and also any further snapshots ongoing. Once that is done, we can also start backing up our volumes by clicking on the volumes section in the left menu. And this will show us the number, number of volumes we have. I currently have three volumes. The process to backup volumes is fairly similar to that of droplets. I'll click the activate button on the volume I want to backup. I'll set how many, how often I should back up my volume. And again, this will vary according to the account you have in Snapshooter. So I'll set my backups to occur every two hours. I'll set the time zone to UTC. And again, I'll do a daylight backup at four o'clock in the morning, slightly different to when I'm doing my droplets. I'll click continue and we're given the options for retention policy. How many every two hour snapshots should we keep? I'll say four. How many daily snapshots should I keep? I'll say two. And how many weekly snapshots should be kept? I'll set that to four. We also are given the options for months of monthly snapshots, but I'll leave that empty. I'll then click start backups. And again, we'll see an overview for the volumes. Similarly, we can create a snapshot now by clicking on the snapshot button. Should I wish to pick up more volumes, I can click on the volumes button again. And this will show me the current active snapshots ongoing and inactive volumes I have which aren't being backed up. To pick up the volumes, I'll go through the same process again for each and every volume. Once you've done all of this, knowing that your system is backed up gives you peace of mind that should the worst ever occur, you can easily restore your application to a previous working condition. Should you have any questions, feel free to reach out and happy creating.